So like, uh, I just say like, I don't know. Is that part? What did I already? Did what I say already be good enough? Good morning, reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm L. And I'm Den. And this is L's reptiles. Your elbow. We want your elbows up. Be <laughs> is that better? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> this week we're doing reacting to subscriber tanks part four. Yeah, four. four. Yeah, four. four. It's the pit. Mm. He's next door. Oh. Well, I guess they're gonna hear dogs barking. You guys seem to really enjoy these videos, so we're just gonna keep making them until people stop asking for them, I guess. <laughs> As with all of the videos like this that we do, we asked you guys to send us pictures of your tanks on Instagram or by email. I always post it on Instagram and on the YouTube community tab, and you guys did. If we do not get to your tank, I am so sorry. We will continue to do more of these in the future. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by iHeartGango, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this awesome company. Let's get started. All right. So the first one that we have is Leona. This is my Leopard Gecko Bailey's tank. Exoterra 24 by 18 by 12. November 1st is one year gotcha day. Arcadia's Shade Dweller UVB. Biodu Terra Sahara substrate. Lots of live plants, hides. Pothos is grown in there. They don't understand how because it's very low humidity. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> they don't come here for me. That's nice. It is, it's very nice. That pothos is like really healthy. Just grow out a little that's bucket. The green plant that's rolling around. Yeah, a pothos. Oh, it just all comes from that one spot. Yeah, but yeah, this looks really good. Got the water dish in there. Got a temperature humidity thing going on. Calcium dish. It's probably a food bowl. I really like this log right back here in the corner. Little air plants growing out of it. I'm not good with succulents. I'm not good with any kind of air plants. They all die. But the plants that you don't water. Yeah. Okay. Well, then just just don't water them. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that's a really adorable leopard gecko, and your tank looks good. Yeah. Very very nice. Yeah. All right, next up we have Dungeons and Critters. All right, I already like the name. Nine plus messages. There's going to be a lot of Ooh. pictures here. Ooh. All right, so Dungeons and Critters. Oh, they have more than one tank. Yeah. Crested Gecko Bioactive Enclosure. That is beautiful. I like that coconut. It has multiple entrances. Yeah, that's really cool. You have a snake plant in there. I know that they don't like, they don't like water. Okay, can you turn it off? Yeah. I'll look at it in a minute, okay? Just make sure it's turned off. All right, spider plant is what you're okay. talking about. I see that you have a spider plant in there. I know that spider, or not spider plants. I see that you have a snake plant in there. Oh, snake, that's it. I see you have a snake plant in there. I know that those don't like to be watered like ever. So does, it, I mean, it looks very healthy. So it just like works, question mark. Oh, that's very, oh, we got a little face down here in the corner. Yeah, it's really um, cool. Like Mayan statue of some sort. Very full, I'm sure your Crested Gecko mm -hmm. feels very oh. secure. Oh, there's Crested Gecko. Look, they did their own background. Oh, very nice. She put some bark into the background. Looks very nice. All right, next one that they have, Juvenile Bearded Dragon. Oh, very full tank. Oh, Love yeah. that background. Oh, yeah. This is, this is a really nice bearded dragon. Yeah, it is. I like how you drape the plants across the background to kind of add some more uh, texture. Yeah. Looks really nice. And I also really love your Bearded Dragon's bed. Is this bed. homemade too? Maybe. It looks like it. Did you just home make everything? And that ledge back there too? Yeah. It's all styrofoam. Dragon skull. This is a really nice thing. This is a... Is oh. that a dragon skull or is that a packy? Is it a pack? Oh, it is a packy. A packy. My dinosaurs. Aki monitor. You did a really good job. So much climbing room for the Aki. I love Aki monitors so much. They're the ones that just... Yeah, this looks really looks really good. Like your Aki monitor, bearded dragon clearly have a lot of space. What did you guys? What did you uh, coat the uh, foam with on the bearded dragon tank? One more is a garter snake enclosure. There's three garter snakes in here, I guess. Love the little dinosaur eggs off to the side. Oh yeah, I'm sure the garter snakes love that. That's so much nice. climbing room. I love that you have a wooden rope bridge for your garter snakes because they can just like coil all around it. That's really cool. Yeah, this is fantastic. Nice loose substrate right down there for these garner snakes. But there's also like a, oh, that's probably a human a hide box. box. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. This is <laughs> good job. <laughs> Just this is a, yet mm. another video of us being like, good job. That looks great. Good job. So at this point, we realized that something weird was going on with Instagram. My message requests, none of my inboxes would load. So we decided to come back to that. I didn't realize the extent to which Instagram was messing up at the time. Are you serious right now? 
I guess we'll have to put an email and then just hope that they're there when we get back. So first we have David, ooh, who says, um, this is an older photo of my one-year-old boa named Osiris. She now has her sister Adria above her and two empty takes above that waiting for more. I like this uh, frame system that you built around it. I'm assuming that's for stacking purposes. Yeah. yeah, so this is super cool. You said this is an older picture. But yeah, this is a nice big water dish for soaking. It's like there's a whole shelf on the top for them to hang. Oh, wait, there they are. Little face. <laughs> there he is. Just it out. Hey, that's uh, Sylvanas' side. That is Sylvanas' side. That's a tiny little baby boa. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like, has he got a license plate back there? Yes. All right, license plates. I like license plates. Yeah, this looks really good. This is awesome. Awesome frame that you have, that you built on there. And you said they're, you're, they're stacked now. You have more above that. That's super cool. Yeah, great tank. Next we have Alana. Alana. Um, I'm one of your subscribers here. Pictures of my reptile tanks. Both will be upgraded shortly. I hope everybody's our subscribers. If not, don't forget to subscribe, please. <laughs> so this is Loki. She's about two months old. Not sure what more. Her tank is a 10 gallon, but she said she's gonna upgrade all of them soon. The next one is Gobi. He's a male, Gobi's a male. Max Snow, almost a year old. He's in a 10 gallon, but upgrading very, very soon. Oh. That's a cute picture. <laughs> Look at those eyes, mm -hmm. huge eyes. So, okay, I see lots of driftwood. You have places to climb, you have places to hide. You said there's three hides in each, which is fantastic. I'm assuming this um, plastic one is a humid hide. There's springtails, homemade substrate. I'm not sure that the springtails will survive or are they surviving? Usually springtails like very humid climates and don't do well. Oh, I like that bowl. It almost oh, it's like just sitting on a, uh, you know how like, didn't I do that for the uh, snake discovery build off? I just laid a bowl down and we just put something on top of yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, these look like those little candle holders that I have. It does. Or live snake oh, plant. A secondary hide on top of a hide. Yeah. Or not a hide on top, I mean. Slate. A roof slate, yeah. So they can get up there and climb. They're all very close pictures. Mm -hmm. It's hard to actually see what's happening. Oh. Little gecko. Speaking out. So unfortunately my camera cut off and it missed us reacting to Bartholomew's temporary enclosure and it also missed Den excitedly yelling Bartholomew like the TikTok. But just a quick recap, awesome skull, love the usage of that coconut hide and carpet isn't the best. Their little claws tend to get stuck and it can injure them, but they did say this is a temporary enclosure. So just wanted to make note of that. Okay, that's all. I'm so sorry that it was lost. So good job on Bartholomew's temporary enclosure. Yeah. It's temporary, so. It's a very good temporary. Next we have uh, Twee17, whose picture did not send. Yeah. Yeah, because there's no attachment or anything. Dang. Okay. Next. Um, it was supposed to be a corn snake enclosure that they built all by themselves. Inspirational ideas for us. That would have been nice <laughs> to see. Aww. From Switzerland. Aww. Sad face. We would have loved to see that. Ryan, subscriber. Oh, there's a lot of pictures here. I'm Ryan. This is my beardy Ivy. She's around five months old. This is her tank, four by two by two, so 120 gallons. Made the rock staircase platform and ledge myself out of styrofoam, aquarium, say silicone, grout, then sealed it. That is amazing. Yeah, that's, yeah, love that. I wanted to do something where you cut out the bottom of one and you put like a bucket down there. Mm -hmm. Not a bucket, but like a little tray or something so that they could kind of climb into and dig. Yeah, very nice. I love nice. these floating ledges. You did a really good job. They're kind of like the ones we made. Oh, they even have the, uh, you know how I took that log to set it up underneath? Yeah. They even did that. And I'm loving the um, chicken wire wrapped uh, UVB bulbs so they don't climb up smart, in there. Smart, smart. Yeah, so much does. enrichment. This is a wonderful take on having some loose substrate and some tile substrate. Yeah. So your bearded dragon gets those nails filed down, but also they have a lot of enrichment and they're not always walking on a hard floor all the time. I love this. I love this a lot. My feedback is that's amazing. Yeah. Yes. Back to Instagram. Hopefully, Back fingers to... crossed. Oh yeah. That it works. It looks like it's working. All right, so we're going to start with this one. Witcher Exotics. Witcher, I haven't heard from him in a while. Hello, Witcher, and thank you for he supporting won. the channel for such a long time. Yeah, didn't he win like our 10,000... I think so. Subscriber giveaway. 40 gallon breeder houses male green giant amoeba. He's very active and destroys his enclosure. I'm making building plans on doing a custom eight by four by eight enclosure that is completely bioactive. That sounds fantastic. He's originally a Florida wild caught because they're invasive there. Oh, hey, 
Those look cool. They kind of have like a, what is it? A tegu look. Yeah. They're the same, like, I don't know, subspecies? Not subspecies, but... Family? Family, yeah. yeah it belongs to the family um, tie day. Aha! I get one right every once in a while. Uh, yeah, there's so much greenery, greenery in here. If I remember right, he's been keeping this for like a very long time. It's very full. That tank is... Good all job. of the leaves. You have all of the leaves. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> this day. But yeah, I don't know much at all about Amoeba Care. It looks like you have so much enrichment, um, all so much for them him to climb around in and him to hide in and giant water bowl. Do they dig? Because you have a lot of substrate there to, yeah. for them to dig if they do. And there's lights on top. I cannot wait to see that eight foot enclosure. Please send me a picture of it when it's done. Victoria. Victoria, this gecko named by my six year old after PJ Mask. PJ Mask. Oh, it's Gecko! It's gecko! <laughs> <laughs> Our kids love PJ Maxx. Got it in August as a baby. Heat pads on the left where the heat bulb and ceramic heater are and all are connected to a thermostat. Oh, hey, okay. they take the heat bulb out when it's warmer. This is from a couple weeks ago when I upgraded from a 10 to the 25 gallon. Yes. Shelf liner, floor. <laughs> Got it moist tide. Yeah, and I love that you have um, this hammock, this triangle hammock on the wall so he can just climb yeah. up the wall there and texture background. They can climb that. Yeah, looks like you have everything. Three hides, moist hide, enrichment. Nice background. Yeah, it is. Maybe just a, a plant or something in there just so they can crawl around. Yeah, ruffle around extra. in some leaves. Mm -hmm. My only suggestion would be just to make sure that you are watching his little toes with the hammock because I think this hammock has like little fibers on it. Their nails could get cut, caught in little fibers. So just make sure you're keeping a check on their toes and making sure that they're all good. <laughs> Gecko! Gecko is adorable. Mm. Ooh, I like that profile picture. Godzilla. Venomzilla. Ooh. Fancy. Who says, this is my dad's Nicaraguan boa enclosure. His name is Cohiba. Oh, you submitted your dad's. This is a small snake. Baby. It's a nice the size shot. of a hand. That's a beautiful shot of that boa. Bunch of sticks and hides with the snake up there. Yeah. Let's see what the other picture looks like. There's a right. skull in the background. There's two water dishes. Got the humidity gauge going on. Two lights going on. I generally recommend against red lights for reptiles because a lot of people find that the red light hurts their reptiles' eyes. So just make sure. I know a lot of people like to have red lights or blue lights and then keep them on at nighttime. Just make sure that you are not doing that. Make sure they're not being kept on at nighttime because there's a whole thing where they're like, oh, animals reptiles can't see colors but i mean they can still see light and reptiles actually can see color very well yeah just make sure that that isn't causing him eye issues there's a skull back there there's climbing room there's burrowing room hides looks like there's two water dishes to keep that humidity up a little bit yeah looks good and the snake is absolutely beautiful just basking right there on that stick yeah ashland says Two reptile tanks I'd like to submit. First is a bearded dragon, Viserion. The dragon, the yeah, that's the, uh, the zombie dragon. He's in a 40 gallon bioactive tank that he'll be getting upgraded to a four foot by two foot by two foot at the end of this month. He loves demolishing all the live plants and burying himself in the dirt. Super cool. That's that's nice. Very nice. What tank did you say this was? This is a bearded dragon right there. Oh, <laughs> just camouflaged. I thought that was just a big <laughs> rock. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay, leave it. Are those, oh, those are live plants. Oh. What is that little tree? Are these like herbs? Because a lot of people put herbs in there because bearded dragons are known to eat the plants that are in there. So their tank probably smells really good. Yeah, it probably does. See, there's succulents going in there, so it's clearly not too wet. Oh, okay. <laughs> the slightest amount of water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then the next one is her California king snake. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that king snake. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I love it so oh. much. Yummy, yummy. I like king snakes. Um, he's only five months old, so he's still in a small tank, but he'll get upgraded when he gets bigger. We have UVB light for him during the day. What is your opinion on UVB for snakes? I think UVB for any reptile can definitely be beneficial. If they're out and they're awake in the daytime, then 100% UVB is very beneficial. Like you said, he's been a lot more active since you put it in there. Yeah, I think UVB definitely spikes that activity level in reptiles. Actually, that looks really nice too with just that much greenery and then the aspen. Like usually I hate aspen, but that looks nice. That looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just 3D printed. Yeah, look at that skull. It has moss all over it. Where'd you get that skull? That's an awesome skull. What's this? It looks like a bone cord almost. 
for him to maybe crawl because it's look it's pinned does he like hide in the wall i feel like he'd hide in the wall i adore these tanks good job and the last one i think this is the last one of the video i'm gonna go through and make sure and check and all that stuff is heather heather sends Ooh. four by two by two bioactive with real plants uvb across the top it's a little hard to see baby beardy quickly on the day he arrived. Oh, I like that background. <laughs> yeah, that's an awesome background. Yeah, it is. This is really cool. Yeah, I don't, this is another first. Like, I don't think we've ever seen antlers in a tank. Oh, I love it. And this is like crocheted hide, crocheted hammock. Cool. I don't think we've ever seen that before Probably either. Probably so they can like just climb through it. Yeah, and she has it like anchored onto this piece mm -hmm. of wood. What wood is that? That's beautiful driftwood. This is amazing. Good job. Is that, is that that same tree? What tree is that? I want that tree. Actually, I feel like this is the tree that I had in Percy's tank the, that died. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's taking a long time for her to get the plants down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am trying. <laughs> The only thing that I would suggest is maybe um, if you see that you have an issue with it, especially like during colder months. I know some bearded dragons kind of try to get up into the light fixture, but if that isn't an issue for you, then that is cool too. I love those antlers. They almost look like dead trees. Yeah, they do. over on our side. They look awesome. Mm -hmm. This looks really good. This is a beautiful bearded dragon tank. It makes me want really badly to set up my beer dragons oh, bioactive yeah. tank yeah, very quickly kind of gives it like a barn look almost yeah it, yeah it looks like a bar yeah oh, actually yeah. yeah really really cool well that is it for the reactive to subscribers tanks i think we got to everyone if we did not get to yours i am so sorry we will do more in the future look like we got everybody so at the time of filming this we actually did get everyone that was in the inbox and in email but as i said in the video instagram apparently was super messed up at the time so about an hour after we finished filming everything we got several more messages that looked like they had been sent a lot earlier so i am so sorry to everyone that actually did send their pictures in on time and we didn't get to them i feel really really bad about that i'm so sorry yeah, I know some people sometimes send them like when we're not doing it. So if you want to submit in the future, make sure that you are looking out for community tab post or Instagram post asking for those tank submissions because they'll get lost otherwise. Thank you guys for submitting those. We got some inspiration for oh, yes. our tanks. That barn. Oh, I love that barn background. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. iHeartGeckos is an awesome place to get conversion kits for your tanks that you may have laying around to convert them to front opening tanks for lizards. Very affordable front opening tanks for lizards. Really good for crested geckos and gargoyle geckos. These kits are awesome. They're super easy to install. They only take a few minutes to install. You just need silicone and to let it air out and yeah. you're good to go. This tank has lasted forever. I mean, we've had this thing now two years. Maybe, yeah. I think it's going on two years. Two years. Two years. Not a single issue. We haven't had it, we haven't had to repair it or anything. Make sure if you do order one of these awesome conversion kits, you put Els Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box, so that way they know that you guys are coming from here. <laughs> and thank you so much to iHeartGeckos for sponsoring this video. I forgot to do my outro. So as always, if you are not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put a video, which is every Sunday. And some Wednesdays. Okay. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. This week's Instagram shout out is for La Jungle Duval. Those are amazing what? monsteras that you have going on. That's not real. Those are real. Is that real? Yeah, those are real. Those are very expensive monsteras. Just, you're beautiful too. <laughs> Thank you so much for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole bunch of my stuff. And this week's subscriber shout out is here because I'm recording things in advance. Thank you guys both so much. You are the bee's knees. You did it. The first try. Just so everyone knows, it was the first try. And I had no warning. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye. I'm getting better. It's crazy to me that the camera can get like way over here, way over here. Oh, it goes all the way over here. But it can't get here. All right, let them in. Maui Sam! You're gonna trip over everything. Slowly. Come on. Come on. Come on, Sam. Instagram just might be having some issues. It's okay. 
Sir, it's not okay. This is this Sunday's video. <laughs> this is the Sunday's video. I can't handle you yelling at me. Call it babes. Uh, not sure of the, uh, I think. I don't, I don't know. It's a leopard gecko. I uh, got it in August as a baby. <laughs> I can't say anything in general, okay? I'm just stumbling over my words left and right. I got nothing in the tank. Uh, <laughs> Children. <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave all these interruptions <laughs> in. Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box so that, that, so they know that, that, so that way they know that you guys are coming from. Thank you so much. What am I saying? To I Heard Geckos for oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for, uh, and thank you so much to I and thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>